Hey Sagittarius, this is your weekend check-in. The first card we got was the Queen of Wands. So you're sitting in your energy and it was clarified by the Ten of Cups. So I felt like you are like happy. You're enjoying yourself. You're having a good day. And then with this Four of Wands, it's like it's clarified by the Page of Pentacles. It's like you get some news or someone comes and tells you about something going on in their house, their marriage, their relationship. Something is going on. And I feel also with the Three of Wands coming out that there there could have been something that this person um, is going through. Like they have to tell you they have to move or something like that. Someone comes and tells you something that puts you in a difficult position. And it's like you have to be there for someone or you try to give them advice because the next card we got was the tower. So it's like the shit hits the fan. Okay. And it was clarified by the king of pentacles. So there may be someone getting ready to go through some type of divorce, a breakdown, a breakup. Um, someone could be getting evicted. When I get the tower card, it, it always feels like an eviction. Someone literally could have their house like on fire. You may hear that someone's house caught on fire or something like that. Something catastrophic happens where you, you will need to be called upon to kind of counsel someone, like talk them through it. And I feel like this could be a family member, a friend, a coworker, um, even a significant other. You may hear that something has happened, okay? And I also got the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Wands uh, to clarify the, that King of Pentacles. And so normally with the Ace of Cups, I feel like, oh, it's, you know, it's love or not. No, Spirit was saying, this, it's like someone is feeling overwhelmed with emotions, overwhelmed, like someone crying, like distraught, okay? Because this all came out to clarify the tower energy, okay? So this king of pentacles is like overwhelmed with emotions or tears. They may even be going through depression and they're very irritated and uh, very guarded over themselves, being very protective over their emotions. So it may be a, a little difficult to talk to this person. At the bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man, Piscean energy, Um with the two of wands, you may feel like your hands are tied behind your back. I'm being drawn to his arms behind his back. You may feel like there's nothing you can do. You may feel stuck, um, uh, like trying to make a decision is what I want to say with the two of wands. It's like, I don't know what to do. Uh, four of cups, this person may be going through feelings of rejection, eight of cups. They may feel like walking away, um, from something, but I feel like you really are going to be called upon to be there. It's like you're having like a really good day and then all of a sudden some news just bam, hits you out of nowhere, okay? The advice card that we got for your, uh, your energy is you know what to do. It says, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So whatever you say to this person, you it's like you have the words to kind of calm this person down or to assist them in some type of way. At the bottom of that deck, I do want to show you, it said overcoming difficulties. It says the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. And I feel like that's what this person needs to hear from you. It's like you, you're going to help this person overcome something, okay? And I know that sounds heavy or that sounds like a lot. But it's like, I feel like you're equipped to do it. You know what to say to help this person uh, get through whatever they're going through. Alrighty, Sag, so that is your energy for this weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye.